but you've got this no vegan person and other people that want to take Jerry and Ryder down, putting all their energy into creating these videos and you're thinking, come on guys, there's better things to be focused on. So why do we focus on this? What's the root of the problem here? Who is it that accuses others of being scammers, liars, uh, drug addicts, pedophiles, rapists? Who is it? that accuse all these people of all these things. Why don't you tell Jen Journey's family that there's better things to focus on? Jen Journey's aunt left another comment on one of my videos saying, she's feeling the first bit of inner peace in over two years. What do you think about Jen Journey still being slandered by the narc after her death? She's gone, she can't defend herself, but the narc is still slandering her to this day. Here's a Tumblr post he made recently, saying she wasn't even a vegan, and also claiming that he never made a video about her. Both of these were disproved in part 2 of the unmasking. He continues to claim that she asked for $100,000. This was also disproved in my video. To do a juice fast, yet again, this is another lie that was disproved in part 2 of the unmasking. But yet, he's still spreading these lies about her. What do you think about him falsely accusing me of being a scammer? making videos and Tumblr post after Tumblr post, spreading these lies about me, saying I haven't shown any receipts of the fundraiser I made for Josie to get her a new laptop. But if you go to the fundraiser, you can see that I've posted a receipt. Here we have a photo of Josie and her new laptop, so obviously it's not a scam. And if you zoom in on the receipt, you can see that she bought an HP laptop for 699 euros. And he keeps stalking and harassing Josie. This Nagev account, that's him. And as you can see, I'm linking to the photo of Josie. And what does he say? He says it's a Photoshop. And he asks, where's the video about it? Well, here's a video about it. And then he says, could you call it the ethics of buying a new laptop for a rich kid who already has one when half the world lives on less than $2 a day and animal sanctuaries are in desperate need of donations today. So as the narc seems to be a bit confused about the order of events, let's do a quick recap. So Josie and the narc barely knew each other. They had just briefly said hi on the festi festival. And when Josie went back to Chiang Mai in September, the narc started messaging her and she was quite surprised that he even knew her name. And this is an important detail because this is exactly what the narc accused Isol of of contacting young teenage girls. He's a 40 year old approaching teenage girls who don't approach him, he's approached them. So if people approach me, I never approach random teenage girls. That's just like fucking really, in my opinion, predatory pedophilic behavior, in my opinion. So the narc asked Josie to meet up and she was like hesitant. And when she declined, the narc made sure that he didn't want, like it was only about camera talk. There was like nothing else there. So Josie was like, okay, fine. And after a while he gained her trust. So he managed to lure her to his hotel room. And while she was there, he started to ask her for sex. And when she declined, he didn't stop. He continued to pressure her. And this is coercion and abuse of authority to not take no for an answer. And we have to remember this is a 40 year old that is pressuring a teenager. Exactly what he has accused other men of in the community. Sexual predators, somebody seeks out someone they know they can exploit. They suss people out like, yep, she's weak, she won't say nothing. I'm gonna fucking try and dominate her, intimidate her. That's a sexual predator and I fucking hate those cunts. I thought no one would really believe me since I thought everyone liked him. And also, this guy's pretty charismatic. He's a fucking cunt. He was super friendly and funny when I met him at the Thai Fruit Fest. And now this sexual predator motherfucker is trying to take advantage of her. And this girl comes from a culture where they're sort of quiet and like, you know, don't rock the boat. And this person knew that and they took advantage of that. And then Josie said that he refused to put on a condom. And now when the word refused is used, refused does not belong with consent. So what happened after that is that the narc needed some leverage. So he bought Josie 
a laptop and Josie already had a laptop. It was an old crappy one, but she had a laptop. So then Mark was the one who bought a laptop to this rich kid. So what Josie did was that she gave her old laptop to someone she had befriended in Chiang Mai, another girl. And then when my videos came out, Josie got the courage to speak up about what had happened. And when she did, the narc suddenly wanted the laptop back that he had given her. And then the narc forcefully took back the laptop, threatening to go to the police and that she would go to prison if she didn't give it back and so on. Now, Josie has integrity, so when he took back the laptop, she didn't go to the, that girl she gave her old laptop to and wanted it back. So she was left with no laptop. And that's why I started the fundraiser to help her get a new laptop. And even if she was a rich kid, that doesn't give you any more right to do someone wrong. So that changes nothing. But we have to remember it was the narc who bought the laptop to this rich kid. I just helped her get a new one when he stole it back. So I hope this clears things up for the narc. If not, I'm happy to go through it again and again and make more videos about it. Another thing I want to point out is that this Nagev account, that's him. As you can see in this screenshot, he was called out on this account and I guess he gave up trying to hide it because he replied as himself under the Nagev account, saying, I don't have time to edit all the receipts together, hoping that I can pay Hebo to edit it all for me. Just waiting to hear back from him. Hey, I'm happy to edit things together, just send me all the receipts. But there are no receipts, are there?